Did I get kicked off just now? What happened just now? Oh, yeah. When I switched VPN, it kicked me out of the meeting, but we're back. Okay, we're back. Cool. So I'm in Colombia now, okay? But I'm gonna still try. Uh, let me see. They, they may, this isn't. This may not work. I might need one of y'all to hold me down. Let's see, because I don't have a Bahamas thing. I need a number. Can I use one of y'all just for the example? Who's who on the call in the Bahamas is willing for me to use your you as an example? You might get some free Bitcoin because I gotta do it and I gotta send it from my wallet. Who who who's cool with me? Okay, Keisha was the first one, so I got you. Keisha, drop your email address in here for me. Your email address. And um, ain't nobody going. I don't think nobody in here crazy. So send me a drop your email address, um, either in the chat or what's happened to me. Your email and your um your phone number. Okay. Okay, got you. Keisha, got your email. I gotta go in your email. Y'all gonna be checking it, okay? The Bahamas. Um, I'm gonna make a generic password, Keisha, and then you can change it, okay? It might send you an email. Yeah, it's gonna send you an email, Keisha. Send me the um send me the code, please. Okay, hold on guys, let's see. The code 131602, 131. Oh, confirm. Okay, cool, now it's gonna ask for your number. This is where I'm gonna type that in. Okay, now Keisha, Keisha sent me the, the, the code, it's gonna text you. Okay. Okay, then it's gonna send you an email verification again. Okay, y'all, you know it's these things I need to verify, verify, verify. While well, Keisha send me that, let me see something. Swipe coin just sent off a trade out. I gotta see what that is. On Ripple right now. You might be able to make a quick bag real quick because y'all know crypto always open. So much opportunities to make money, y'all, like all day. So much. Like if you ain't making money, you ain't plugged in straight up. Five one one six three. Hang on. Five one one six three. Verify. One one six six three. Got you. Got you. We're in. But let me just take a look at this, y'all. Sorry. Let me just see. Ripple just call a trade. Let's see what it's at. It's right in this. Oh crap. It's coming out of the zone. Let's see. Uh, if y'all like, y'all like, what is this? This is Nick Gomez sending the trade idea out on Ripple. Basically, the box is the zone. Let me see. Let's get my phone real quick. Five, five, three. Oh, it's, it's in the zone. So five. Okay, let me just show y'all this quick. That's cool. Is it cool if I show y'all this real quick? Just so y'all can see, because this might be something everyone can get it. Who's in the States? Because I know FX trades don't show you. Okay. So I'm gonna just open my trading view real quick. Oh, 
this up here, swipe going. Okay, cool. So check this out. Make it secure, quick buy. I always make money on crypto on the weekend. That's why crypto go crazy when the market's closed. Okay, hang on. Come on. Now my internet will move slow, right? Let me close before it's out. Close that out. Coming back to you, Keish, don't worry. Okay, so we're looking at XRP. So here's what I do when a, a signal comes out, right? I mark it up on my own trading view so I can like, you know, make it make sense to me. So basically, I'm gonna clear the screen. He just sent out a trade, right? So I mark it up. He, he tells you in the, in the trade idea from the app, the zone. So the entry zone, I'm gonna show you all right quick. I'm gonna draw it and then I'm gonna do the coordinates. So the zone is coordinate is 5650 and 55. Five. So we write in the zone. Okay. Y'all see this? We like deep in the zone. I'm about to get in this trade right now. So he gives you a zone, basically an area where if the price is in that zone, the trade is valid. Get it, right? So this is for a buy. Let me just get in this trade real quick while I teach you all this. Okay, cool. Let's so now let me show you. So he sends the zones and it's literally in the app. So I'm literally just drawing what he has and he draws it up for you too. But I'm just drawing it up for you guys so you can see, okay? We're in the zone, y'all see the zone. He gives you the stop loss, okay? Stop loss is five four zero. I'm gonna make it a red line, and then he gives you the take profit, right? So the first take profit is I'm make it green is five nine zero. Okay, check it out five nine zero. Second take profit is 630. So click on it, I'm gonna draw the lines. So I basically recreated the, the, the trade idea. So what this is basically showing us guys is that he's saying in this yellow box, in this zone, you can get in this trade for a buy. This your stop loss and this your take profit. I like to write it, mark it up because I need to see what was happening. I don't like, I don't like to trade blind. But if you're new, just trade blind. The only thing you need to look at is, am I in the zone? He said that you could get in between Five five and five six five, and price is currently at five five four. We're in the zone. Enter for the buy. So I just entered for the buy a second ago when I told y'all let me get in this trade. Let me tell y'all my, my entry so we can talk about this throughout the weekend, right? Um, five five four six two. Five five four five five four six two. So this blue line right here. Y'all see the blue line? That's my entry. I got in right here. So let's let's look at look at it. Okay. I got in the trade right at the blue line. So right now it's retracing a little bit. I ain't tripping. Right? I'm not tripping. Because it's still in the zone. Okay. The only thing that invalidates a trade now, and this is a lot, but I just want to show y'all is if the trade hits your stop loss. What I'm gonna actually do, guys, is if this price was to come like below, I'll get another entry. <laughs> like and actually get more pips. But check it out. Look at it, y'all. Price is now doing what? Approaching my entry. So it's I'm only going to be out of profit for a while. But look at this. This is a sniper entry because if this trade plays out the way he plans, and Nick Gomez is a beast, check this out. I'll get this trade from here if I just take TP1. And right now I'm doing, let me just, let me just work the math out because um, cryptocurrency doesn't, isn't, you don't count pips like, Regular cash. But I wanna show y'all something right quick. Let me blow your mind for a second. It's already having these big weekends. Right? Let's say this is eight, this is let's say ten pips. So it's, let's say nine pips. It's like a it's almost like a dollar pip for crypto. Almost. Just give or take, not exactly. But let's just look. From my entry just now, and I'm expecting it to be in this trade all weekend. I don't care. From here, if it just goes to TP1, y'all, I make $340. Because I have a I have a 0.05 in, right? So it's not a dollar a pip. It's more like 20 cents a pip. 
okay? That'll be a $340 trade if it hits TP1. And if it hits TP2, $750. So y'all better believe I'm gonna let that ride, <laughs> right? And we gonna see where we are by the end of the session, all right? So if you're in the States and you got Hugo's free or KOT 4X, get in this trade, um, depending on what you're, if you have $100 in your account, just do a 0 0.01 maximum. Crypto don't play, so use proper risk management, okay? 0 0.01 for every $100 you got in your account. All right, good stuff. All right, so back to our regularly scheduled program. Can we use a VPN to save you in the US? Um, when you're setting up your broker, maybe you know. May, uh, maybe, to, maybe you can just to get a Hugo's Way account. Yeah, that might be something you could try. Actually, someone try that. Try to put on a VPN like you're in the United States, go to Hugo's Way, create an account. Once you got the account created and you're able to fund it, guess what? It's logged in on your matter trade for it, don't matter. Okay, cool. So let me let me get let me uh Hugo's away. Jackie, that's your assignment for the weekend. Okay, cool. So let's let's go to back to Bit Bitmax. So we're in we're in Keisha's account. We're here. So now what do we want to do? See, it looks kind of the same, right, guys? Look, you go come here to your assets. Okay, you scroll down, it shows you, you know, the things that you can actually trade and buy and different things here. Now, here's something I noticed with this particular platform. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I think you could actually buy Bitcoin direct from here, right? So if we go to cash orders, let me just check it first. I was doing this with Dante them earlier and I think you can. Um, let's see, maybe not. Where was it? Hold on. Boom, right here. Fiat, because, okay, guys, you have to remember the word fiat means cash, like currency, what we use, paper money, okay? Fiat currency versus cryptocurrency, okay? So fiat is cash. So you could go here, bank card payment, and you can literally use US dollars to buy Bitcoin, right? They got a little fee, but if you are on here and you like don't have CEXIO, you haven't bought Bitcoin before, it appears that you could buy Bitcoin direct from here. Like you go here, put twenty dollars in. It's gonna give you this amount of Bitcoin, and you could actually let's see, let's just see what's gonna pop up and see. Let's just see. I don't know if it's gonna work because I'm on VPN, of course. But y'all would actually be in your country, so like it'll be official. But you could come here and basically let's see. Just want to see what's gonna happen. You pay $20, boom, right? See, but for, for this, $30 is the minimum. You'll go here, boom, create order, and you actually use your, pay, your, your card and pay for it right there, okay? Okay, so that's just something you guys can know. So that's a good thing. That BitMax you, allows you to actually buy your Bitcoin right here before we go to the other steps. But we're going to pretend that we already got some Bitcoin. And like I said, Keisha, you're going to win today because you're going to get some Bitcoin because I got some Bitcoin in the wallet. And for this example, you will, you will, um, you will, you will lock out. So... Let's assume you already got Bitcoin, okay? Remember what do we have to do? We have to exchange BTC to what first? I'll put it in the chat, see if y'all remember. We have to exchange BTC for what? Tether. Look at y'all sounding like some crypto gurus. I love it, okay? So what you'll end up doing is on, on um, BitMax, we go into trade, okay? Remember, it's not gonna say spot account like the other one. But if you come to trade, you see what it says here? Spot trading. So this is like the same thing. You're gonna go to standard. And look, see how it looks similar? Okay, it looks similar to the other screen. So now we got our, we need BTC to USDT. Okay, BTC USDT. This is what we gotta buy. Okay, so we gotta sell Bitcoin for USDT, but look at this guys, we don't have, I don't, I haven't deposited no Bitcoin yet, right? So we can't do nothing yet. So let's do this. Hold on. Cash account, total asset. Hold on. I'm using this for the first time too, y'all, but hang on. I just want so I don't know the place is super easy, but I'm gonna figure it out. So if we go to total asset, I basically want to I'm looking for a way to deposit Bitcoin. Okay. 
So if we come here, I want to deposit Bitcoin though, deposit cash account. Let's see if I do deposit. Boom. Okay, cool. So you go to total asset, you go to your assets. It's going to list what you have right now. This is a new account, so it has no assets. I want to go to my cash account, which will be equivalent to what we saw on the other platform as wallet, right? I want to deposit. It's going to ask me, what do I want to deposit? I want to deposit some Bitcoin. Guess what it's going to do, y'all? It's going to give me the same thing. It's going to give me an address to send some Bitcoin to. So coin or copy. Y'all know I like to do the QR code. Actually, for this one, I'm going to use copy because I'm taking it from another exchange. So y'all getting to see all the sauce today. So I got some Bitcoin, like $35 worth of Bitcoin on my CEX IO account. I'd be putting money in these accounts for trainings. I'd be forgetting I got it. So if you look here, I got $35 cash in this account, right? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to buy Bitcoin. Let me see. I got some Bitcoin here too. 0 0.003. Let me see if that's enough to send. So if I go to Bitcoin finance, okay, uh, let's see. Crypto, I got Bitcoin. Let's see if I can withdraw it. If I can withdraw it and send it to this wall, Keisha's wallet. Let's see if it allows me to do it. It might be too little bit though. Let's try it though. So enter the, the recipient address. So I'm going to Keisha's wallet. I'm going to copy this wallet address where I want to deposit it to. And I'm going to paste it here. So I'm basically sending Bitcoin from my wallet to Keisha's wallet. Okay. How much Bitcoin do I, do I have? I got 0 .00, 000. I don't know if this is enough. Yeah, that's too little bit. That's like nothing. So let me actually buy some, buy some Bitcoin. Hey, Derek. Yeah, I'm on this phone, but, but I'm, I hit Velma. What's your name, Velma? Ask her if she could give you like 15 more minutes. Just tell her, um, you know, I'm, I'm running 15 minutes late because I'm on a training and I'm almost done. Um, see if two o'clock will work for her. Just ask her if, if that's fine. If she says she won't be available, we'll make it happen. But see if she can, um, give me tell two, please. Okay, appreciate that. All right, no problem. Okay. All right, so I've got $35 US. Okay. Oh, see, this is me for me to send my money back to my card. I don't want to do that. All right. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go 35.54. So I'm going to, oh, come on. Did my VPN cut off? Yeah. But I, I should be able to, I'm still in, so I might be able to get it to work. <laughs> All right. So basically I want to buy $35 worth of Bitcoin. Okay. It's not enough for this. Let me think, let me think. I'm gonna do it. Keisha, you win, you win again. I'm gonna just send that money back to my card, but I'm gonna just send $10, $20 more Bitcoin. Okay. Cause I think that was the minimum, right? $20 Bitcoin. How much money I spend today? This is investing, it's residual Fridays. I'm, I'm, I'm investing in my portfolio today, right? Um, okay, so I, said, I bought some Bitcoin. Now I'm going to send it to Keisha's wallet. So forget the my CEX I owe. I'm going to get my money out of that on my own. Forget that. So we're back here to deposit in Bitcoin. Okay. I'm going to use the code now since I'm, I'm going to send the Bitcoin from my wallet. Okay. With fees and all that is about $19.55 that I'm sending to this wallet. Boom. Withdraw. Okay, it's on the way. Y'all, this is literally the future of money. Like, we scan and stuff to pay for stuff. Okay? So the same thing, right? It's going to send it after 
uh, some confirmation. It's not yet, it's not there yet, but it will be there eventually, okay? So once the Bitcoin is here, and hopefully it's quick like it was for the other one, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to trade, cash trading, right? Cash trading. And it's gonna bring us to the screen like we were on the other, on the other one, okay? So now what do we have to do if we're getting tether, right? So what we're gonna do, you look in the list for, and here, let's see if it'll be nice to us. If we actually type USDT, it actually brings up the BTC USD tether. So we click on it, it brings up this chart and we do the exact same thing, family. Scroll down and we just basically gonna place an order, okay? The good thing about BitMax is you could place a limit, which means you wanna specify the price that you wanna buy tether, buy at, or you could just do a market, okay? Which means, at current current price. So once that Bitcoin hits our wallet, what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna be buying or selling Bitcoin. Drop it in the chat. Okay, what's gonna do? You're gonna be buying or selling Bitcoin. Okay, so we're gonna be selling Bitcoin because we already bought Bitcoin. I bought Bitcoin and sent it to Keisha. Now what we're doing is we're actually selling Bitcoin to get Tether. Okay, so once we're here, we'll be able to put, you know, 100% of our money. Y'all see how this time it don't have the button to say 100%, but it shows you how much you just put, you'll put it to 100% and then sell. But let's, let's give it a couple of minutes to see how long it will take for this to actually hit. Okay, let's, let's give it some time. Let's see if we can get lucky and actually have it, um, you know, be nice to us while we're on here. Okay, so we're actually looking at a deposit. Y'all, I'm just trying to get used to how this works too. Activity, fiat payment, investment, futures, trade, market. What's market? Favorite, top gainers. Y'all, look at all these different cryptos, man. Like, there's so much crypto out there. But we got the cheat code because we got educators who show us what to do. Let's see, asset history. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm waiting on the deposit. So they ain't even showing up in the history yet because it ain't, it ain't complete yet. So we gotta give it some time, okay? We gotta give it some time. Whilst, whilst we're waiting a couple of minutes for that to happen, I see, let me look at the chat really quickly. Let me look at the chat. And I know we've been on here long, y'all, but I think this is valuable, it's, it's worth the time. And for my leaders on the call, I'm glad you stayed on because now you can show your people how to buy crypto, right? Like. Of course, you'll have to do it sometimes a couple times to get it like clockwork. But if it's important to you, you'll figure it out. Y'all, when Nick Gomez dropped it in the group on the go live, he's kind of said how to buy it. But I was like, I'm getting in this right now. So I figured it out. Like, I just, I don't let these websites intimidate me. Okay. I don't let them intimidate me. I'm going to find this thing out. So let's see what's going on with our swipe, with our trade so far. Look, it, it went below my entry. Right, it, it's below my entry, it's still going down, but it's still in the zone. So I ain't upset. Like if I wasn't in another, I'm in another trade for like a point one. I, 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 if I wasn't in that trade, I was gonna get in for another position, but I ain't gonna trip. Okay, I'm not gonna trip. I'm not gonna get out of hand. But what I want you to understand is when you enter these trades and the goal is you red, don't get excited and get out the trade, y'all. Like let it, let it ride. Trust the educators. Once you ain't over leveraging, you don't have to be scared. You don't have to be scared at all. Okay. Let me see what notes he has. Yeah. Yeah. Once this don't hit stop loss, y'all, we, we go there. <laughs> once we don't hit stop loss. Look, it's starting to move up. So we, we good. We are good. Okay, let me see. Let me check our let me check our thing real quick. Refresh. I've never used this particular platform, y'all. So I'm not sure how long it takes for Bitcoin to hit this blockchain. But like I said, it usually takes about 15, 20 minutes for something to hit the blockchain. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll give it a couple more minutes, but while it's doing that, just kind of remember the steps. Once you deposit Bitcoin to your wallet, to your BitMax, okay, and you can do it from 
sending it from your CEXIO account, okay? Because basically what will happen is if you had CEXIO or if you just buy Bitcoin directly in the platform, it'll be available in your, in your wallet. If you're sending it from like CEXIO, guys, all you do is you go to, um, you go to finance, you find your asset, so like Bitcoin, and all you do is you hit withdraw. Withdraw means you're basically taking it out of this account and sending it somewhere else. So you hit withdraw. It's going to ask you for your amount. I just can't do it because I don't have enough Bitcoin in this wallet. And then copy and paste that address here. Hit withdraw. Boom. And then you do exactly what we're doing now, which is wait for it to hit the blockchain. Uh, Bitcoin that I sent to Keisha has arrived. So let me go ahead and pull up my screen. Let's see, let's see. I got so many different, so many different screens up. Hold on, maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. Hold on, hold on y'all. I gotta find it. Big Max, it's this one. Here we go. Okay, cool. Y'all can see my um y'all can feel free to unmute because it's only five of us on. So we can we can y'all can talk to me. It ain't gonna get crazy. You can see my Bitmax screen, right? The Ascend EX. Y'all just wanna make sure y'all on the right screen. And you could what you can see the Ascend EX, right? Uh yeah. Cool. All right. Good stuff. All right. So here we go, y'all. It's going to be quick. <clears throat> so remember now we were trying, to, we, we, I had sent Bitcoin to Keisha, right? For my cash after her wallet. So we come to my assets. Boom. You see, she got money in her. Right. So, what is USDT? That's interesting. I want to go back to the main screen though. Hold on. Um, so we could find the deposit. I gotta figure out, yo, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this, right? If we go market Bitcoin. I mean, I think that's your phone, who phone that is? That's Michelle in the background. Yeah, why don't you just mute? Okay, cool. So, oh, I just see something that pay quicker just hit, boom. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's what I'm talking about. I know, right? I know. So if we click on BTC, I'm trying to figure out how to find the page to see that the money had hit because I was already on it. That's how I knew, but I'm trying to find the actual page so y'all could find it easily too. US dollar. Mm, trade. Okay, I didn't look for that, but I just want to show you this first, just for the recording of this video. So the Bitcoin has arrived in Keisha's wallet, okay? So now, remember, we got to go to spot trading. So you're going to go to cash trading, spot, okay? It's going to bring up our, our screen. And now, remember, we're going from BTC to Tether, right? USDT. So you want to click on that pair. You can see right here, it's currently, this is what we're looking at. Then you scroll down to the bottom. And now remember we got to sell Bitcoin for Tether. Now, if you look in balance, remember before it was saying zero, but now we got some Bitcoin. We want to sell it all. So we're going to slide this all the way so we can put a hundred percent of our Bitcoin. Okay. You can see it, put it here. It's going to give us 54,000 Tether. Okay. We click sell. Boom. Hang on. Let's see. Okay. Uh, is it doing? sell boom it's gone it's done if you look down here y'all see it right it was there it's gone you can see we sold the tether okay you got it now what we do is we look here and we go to usdt because now we got to look for omi okay so now we type omi and you see it comes up here we click on it Y'all, look at this. From when we did the last trading session, remember we were at 0 0.009. We weren't even at a penny yet. But you see how OMI already grew? 
It's already over a penny. So from our last training to now, your money would have made money. But now what we want to do is go ahead and buy the OMI. So how do we do that? We scroll down and we're going to be buying OMI. Okay, how much OMI do you want to buy? All of the USDT you have. So you scroll it all the way to 100%, right? So now you're going to get, with that $20, Keisha will now have 1,899 OMI coins. Click buy. Okay. If you look here, let's see how it says open order. Remember, that's what I was saying. This is a limit execution. That means that it's going to buy it when price gets to this price right here, which is 0 0.0120. If we look at the price now, price is 0 0.0129. So price right now is a little higher than what that, that thing said we want to buy it at. Okay. So we look, basically this is saying we want price to drop just a little bit before we get in. But look, price going up, y'all. So we don't want to do that. We want to buy it market execution. Okay. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to click market. All of our OMI. So limit means, guys, that you want to set the price you want to buy it at. Like if you want to buy it a little cheaper. If you just want to get in the market now, you do a market execution. Up to 100%. Boom. Hold up. Oh, it can't be no. Okay, I think it's because this is still pending. So I got to basically figure out how to delete this. Hang on, y'all. This pending order so that we could place it. Boom. So you say, I would say cancel. I want to cancel that. Okay. I want to cancel that. And now I want to buy the OMI market. So you go to OMI, come down here and click market. That's to buy it at the market price. And you click, you're going to pull this all the way over. And we're going to buy OMI. And y'all see from the second, from when I showed y'all that example to now, price already went down a little bit. So instead of getting 1899 OMI, she actually gets 1704. So y'all see how just these little baby fractions of a percent of a penny matters right so right now in keisha's wallet she got 1704 omi coins so how do we look at our assets we go ahead of my asset okay total assets okay and it i don't know why it just shows it to you here in usdt i gotta figure this out right let's see that's interesting oh okay so when you click on it when you click okay so if you go to total asset guys your cash asset, because we, we, we're trading cash, okay? You click on it, then it lists all of the coins that you could possibly have. So you can see right here, she has 1,704 OMI, okay, which is, and then she has 1.85 USD tether uh, based on the, the, what we sold it at, and like uh, not basically no Bitcoin, because this don't count, it's like 21 cents. USDT, guys, is close to what is close to one for one for a dollar. So looking at this, you can see that you got like about $17 worth of OMI, okay? That, so your assets right now is valued at $19.58. So what you got to remember, y'all, when you're looking at your stuff, right, is if you look at this, as OMI price goes up, your asset value is going to go up. Okay? Your, your portfolio is going to be worth more money, right? Why? Because the price of the asset has gone up. Does that make sense a little bit to everyone? That makes sense to you guys? Just drop it in the chat, yes or no, okay, cool. So basically what we were able to do here, y'all, is the same, the same process that I talked about before, okay? Yet you were, we were able to buy Bitcoin, send Bitcoin to the exchange, exchange Bitcoin for Tether and then Tether for OMI. Now, as like while I, as I get on more of the crypto trainings and as the educators send out more coins, they, they usually tell us what exchange we need to buy it. And I'll be sharing that with the team. But soon I'll just be able to say, hey guys, we buy in Anya coin, right? And you got to buy it in OMI. So now you'll understand the process of how to buy these coins from the other crypto, okay? Um, so basically now Keisha is all set up, right? She got $19 worth of OMI. And if she comes here tomorrow and the price, let's say the, so what I want you all to understand is right now, let's look at this really quick and then we go. Right now, the price of OMI, and how do you find it? You click market, OMI, boom, right? The price of OMI right now is 0 0.0, 
0.012. It's right up here. This is your current price, okay? Right here. 0 0.0102. So guys, what this means is this is like a little more than a penny. Let's say in the next week, the price of Omi goes to two cents. So it's 0 0.02, two pennies. Keisha's $19 will now double and be $38. Yo, where else are we getting these kind of returns? Like, think about it. So even if you're only doing $20, but imagine if that was $200 and it goes up one penny, but her 200 now becomes 400. That's why we got to start putting money in these crypto guys instead of the bank. Keep your money that you need for bills and like your, 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 your like operating capital in your checking account, but take a good portion of your savings and instead of putting it in savings, y'all put them in crypto because they're going to grow. They're going to grow, you know? So that's, that's, that's what's super powerful about this, y'all. Okay? That's what's super powerful about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the trainings, the recordings today into two. One for BitForex, one for BitMax, okay? So that you guys can just have, you don't have to watch this whole thing. You can just go through. I'm going to try to edit out, cut out, keep it short, you know, so that you could get through it and be able to share this with teammates as we go through it. But for all my people in Bahamas who um, have Bitcoin, you want to buy Bitcoin, okay? Me and Anya were trying it to buy it direct from BitMax because it doesn't look like it likes the Bahamas. Like it don't want to allow us to, uh, put the Bahamas address with your credit card, which is a pain. So what you may have to do is just continue to use the old way, CEXIO. You buy the Bitcoin there and then you send it to your wallet here. So I'll show you guys that one more time. So let's say, Anya, you buy CEXIO, you buy Bitcoin and CEXIO, okay? It's pretty straightforward to buy it, right? It'll actually go ahead and show up immediately, um, well, after like 15 minutes in your wallet. So once you got some Bitcoin and CEXIO, then what do we do? Let me share my screen. Then what do we do? Once you got it in CEXIO, you got, let's say you got $20 worth of Bitcoin, $50 worth of Bitcoin. I think CEXIO requires you to buy at least $30 worth of Bitcoin per a time, okay? So let's say you put $50 worth of Bitcoin and CEXIO. Now you want to get some OMI. So you'll open your BitMax like this, okay? We're going to go to BTC. So you got to find this again. This is what I was trying to figure out. Okay, this is a good time to figure it out. I got to find BTC. Maybe it was cash orders here. Bye. Let me find it. Hold on. Because I'm trying to find the word deposit. <laughs> That's all I'm looking for in here, y'all, is deposit. Where to deposit? We're going to figure it out, right? That's how we learn. So I would basically go to Bitcoin, right? Click on it. Uh, let's see. Boom. Right now, I, ha I don't have any Bitcoin. So I got to hit the deposit button. I need to figure out how you find this deposit button another way out. But basically, that's what you'll do, guys. You'll go to BTC, okay? You'll go to click on, on the BTC, come down. Because you don't have any, you want to deposit some. So you click the deposit button to get to this screen. So it says total asset and then deposit. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to figure this out because it should be a way if I go to total asset. Oh, so I'm just, that's, okay, guys, I figured it out. So once you're on your BitMax screen, you come here to my assets, total assets. It's going to bring you to the screen right here. And what do we see right here? Deposit. You just click the deposit button, y'all. Okay, it's gonna bring you to the deposit screen and then you choose what you wanna deposit. So we wanna deposit Bitcoin because that's what you're gonna be sending from CEXIO. So you click Bitcoin, okay? Then it's gonna generate the address that you wanna copy and paste into CEXIO. So when you go to CEXIO and you have Bitcoin, let me see if I can bring it up really quickly. I don't have no Bitcoin, but I wanna at least show you all the screens, okay? Okay, so once you're in CEXIO, let's say you got some Bitcoin, right? You just bought some. You just come to the screen. This is your main screen and you just go to withdraw. Okay, all you're doing is withdrawing. You have to look at your exchanges as accounts. So you're basically withdrawing your Bitcoin from this account, sending it to another one. Okay, so you click withdraw. 
It's gonna ask you what your address is. You're withdrawing it too, okay? okay? Sorry, that's cash. I wanna withdraw Bitcoin, okay? So you go to finance, because finance shows you what coins you bought already. You go to Bitcoin, you look for your crypto balance, okay? I wanna withdraw Bitcoins. I come to Bitcoin, hit withdraw. It's gonna ask you what the wallet address is where you're sending it right here. So I would go to Ascend, copy this address, paste it right there. Click the box. Over here, you're gonna put how much Bitcoin you have. So right here, it shows you how much you have available. So you'll be able to put that amount. So of course, me personally, I don't have enough to send, okay? I only have like cents. But let's say you had some Bitcoin, you had the amount, you put it in there, copy the address here, check this box, click withdraw, boom. Bitcoin is being sent to your address and it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes to hit your actual Ascend wallet like we did with Keisha. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah? So here's the assignment. Okay, here's the assignment for everyone today. For my folks in the U.S., and I know most people are here are in the Bahamas, so I don't have to. Suzette is in the U.S., but a lot of her teammates, she like to um, international teammates. So this is good information for you, Suzette. But for people using BitMax, if you're going to be buying Bitcoin and CEXIO, their minimum amount of Bitcoin is $30. Okay, so that'll be your minimum purchase. So it's Friday. Some of y'all get residual today. Some of y'all got paid from y'all jobs today. Right? And you know you're gonna pay some bills today. Now make sure when you're paying your bills, you're paying yourself. Investing in this type of stuff is like you paying yourself. So I want everybody to take at least $30. Okay, if you want to call it, you ain't got no, you ain't got $30, borrow it from someone, right? But go go ahead today on CEXIO, buy $30 worth of crypto and a uh, Bitcoin and get you the $30 worth of um CEXIO. Okay. You know what that, that's going to do, guys? That's going to give you. I just showed you all. I did $19 worth of crypto for Keisha, and she got 1,700, 1,700, 1,700 coins. So if you do $30, y'all, you will have like 2,000 OMI. It's, that's the start. And what your whole goal is eventually, okay? Our whole goal is eventually for you to have a diversified crypto portfolio where all of these coins making money. All of these coins growing at at least instead of your money sitting in savings, y'all. The money is growing because our goal is one day to be able to come in here. Okay. Look at our total assets. And this thing be like grants, thousands of dollars. Like when you look here, you got some Obi, you got Bitcoin, you got, you know, and we're going to give you the coins to be buying, but you want to have, you want to start building your portfolio. Okay. That's the whole goal. The whole goal is for us to start building our portfolio. So we can secure the buy. Okay. We can secure the bag. See where it says asset just distribution here. Look at this. It's showing right now that Keisha's crypto portfolio is 89% OMI. You want to start building where you have so much pieces of the pie and you got crypto all over the place. Okay. And you just build it. You just build it. You just build it. So what I'm going to have Keisha do, I'm going to screenshot this right now to say right now her portfolio is worth $19.61, right? Just off of what we bought today. Let's see what happens tomorrow. If the coin goes up, let's see how she make money overnight. Guys, this is how we start to change our situation when we put our money to work for us, okay? So I hope this was valuable. I know that the whole training in itself was really long, um, but I'm excited because a lot of y'all are gonna change our situation based on this information, all right? Based on this info. And if anybody was on that call with me earlier, GBP USD is still in profit. Well, I don't know, maybe some of y'all getting knocked out of profit right now if y'all move um, to entry. But XRP now is also blue, okay? But if you're in that GBP USD, I'm going to send a message out in the signals group around in like 20 minutes to close the trade because we're not going to hold that trade over the weekend. We're going to have a lot more setups next week, y'all. My goal is to help everyone make money every single day. Okay, I'm going to do what I can. So tonight at nine o'clock, I'm going to do a train in a FRX basics for a lot of you guys who are on HFX and don't know how to use MetaTrader 4. We're going to go through some of that stuff today, how to understand the trades. Um, how much lot size you should be using, how to copy and paste. The only thing you probably have to do outside of that training, guys, is you probably have to watch one of my videos on how to set up your broker. Because I'm not going to do that tonight because I'll take a, that's a whole hour in itself. Okay. So tonight will be on Forex basics, proper risk management, 
um, how to understand how to place the trades and how to use MetaTrader 4. So if you don't have MT4 downloaded on your phone right now, download it for tonight. You, you can do what we do, copy and paste and follow along with me on demo. Um, and then once you understand, you can reach out to your sponsor and someone will help you actually uh, create your live account and get it funded. Okay. So I appreciate y'all. I, I, I know this was valuable. See, sometimes when you volunteer, guys, you get free crypto. Keisha got $20 worth of free crypto. And my goal is for, for, for this one penny thing to go to $1. And that means that that $20 would end up being what? That's like, you get 100% um, hundred percent return. So let's just see what that, let's just see what that is. That $19, if that, at one penny, if it goes to $1, let's say Omi just gets to a dollar, right? Times. That's a hundred percent, that's a thousand percent return, right? That $19 will be $190. Ain't bad, right? $20 turning into almost 200, y'all, that ain't bad at all. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one. If you got paid today, drop some something in the main chat that is residual Fridays because we got to encourage one another to not only invest, but build this business so we can secure the buy from all angles. All right. So what we got tonight, eight o'clock presentation, get your guests on nine o'clock. We'll do a FRX basics training. Um, yeah. And that's the lineup for tonight. All right. Y'all have a good one. Take it easy.